Hey partners, today we have the new Classic Sonic by Jack Specific. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. You're looking at a couple figures from the Wave 3 line. We have Tails and Classic Sonic. As you can tell with Classic Sonic, the packaging is a little different. So here on the back, you can see some of the new ones that are released like Moto Bug, Metal Sonic, Tails, which we have here, and a Golden Chow. And of course, we have Classic Sonic. Now, if you guys don't know, Classic Sonic is one of my favorite figures ever to collect because I am such a huge fan of the original video game from that time period. And to have him in action figure form is amazing. And although it's 2.5 inch, my dream is to have the fully articulated uh, four inch figure that should be coming out soon. At least we have the 2.5 for now. Let's see how they measure up on our Green Hill Zone playset. We'll start with Tails here. I really, what I really like about Tails is there's a spinning action on the Tails on the back here. Tails has that really fast action spin look and I really like the way that looks. For posability is nice. Um, the arms are pretty cool. There's no elbow joint, but the arms swing in and out really nicely. They do appear to go up and down. And they do have a full 360 spin for the arm joint as well. So yeah, there's some good articulation there. Um, I just wish it had elbow joints, but it's a 2.5 figure. Uh, the legs also can swing in and out. So that's pretty nice. You can get a lot of fun poses. There's no knee joint or anything like that, but there's full 360 rotation spin on the shoes as well. So yeah, it's it's lim like I said, it's limited, but at the same time, I feel like there's enough posability there. And also because of the tails spinning, um, tails does stand pretty good depending on how you pose tails. And I think this will look really good on our playset here, but let's look at Classic Sonic. Now look how cool Classic Sonic is. I remember um, going to the store, I had to ask the manager to get it for me in the back because these things just fly off the shelf. They're only $4.99 retail if you do find Classic Sonic. I can't wait to get, like I said, the full um, scale one, which would be like the four inch figure or five inch closer to that scale. Um, but the 2.5 inch will do for now. I really love this color. It's probably my favorite blue color. Um, no elbow joints and this arm joint is bent permanently because I guess that's just the pose. <laughs> Same thing. There's limited articulation for sure with this Sonic. Um, you can have him kick up, have him sit and so the joints do move back and forth, up and down, but there's no um, knee joints, so you can't really put them in a running pose. You can try, um, but it'll be really hard for Sonic, Sonic to stand on his own. But no, it, I mean, it still works if you just play with it enough. And also um, the hair, head articulation can spin 360, so that's cool too. I really, really love this Sonic. Can't wait to get the full size figure, but for now, I'm just really enjoying this Sonic. I think it looks super cool. So originally I had Modern Sonic 2.5. I really feel like this Green Hill Zone playset is meant for 2.5 inch scale figures. So if you put this Tails here and these sm smaller Sonic figures, that's in scale with this playset. Now, if you got the full size Jack Pacific Sonic, um, and as you can see with Knuckles, and here's the full size Eggman. That's why they released the 2.5 figures because these scale with your playset, but these giant ones do not. So maybe in the future we can get a playset for the bigger guys, but for now we have the 2.5 inch line so that we can pose them in this playset. Now, although these are giant, they come with accessories that do fit on this playset. Like this Chaos Emerald came with Knuckles. Um, this spring board right here came with the Wave 1 Sonic and the original 2.5 inch Chow came with some golden rings and then the playset came with three. So that's how I was able to get six golden rings. But I think this looks really awesome and as I collect more figures we can get more accessories um, for this. Now I do want to mention I didn't get another Mighty to open um, so this is going to stay in the box but I really love this accessory. Hopefully I can get another one of this Mighty so I can open it and put this monitor of the ring because that's the video game I remember playing um, when Sonic breaks these open for rings and then we could put that on our Jack Pacific playset. But I did get a Mighty. This is um, basically Sonic as an armadillo and <laughs> 
it's really cool that it comes with its own packaging so i just can't wait as you can see this was the next wave mighty supersonic and then another sonic with a chaos emerald purple and eggman is the same but he comes with this little accessory so it's only worth getting them again for the accessory uh, i am still looking for a supersonic i don't i'm not planning on picking these up because uh i'm not trying to collect every single figure just a lot of the greats or the ones that i love the most so for now this is how i want to display my playset i want to have the spikes here the springboard up here um, tails can kind of move around freely i have the springboard here and then three rings up there and then the middle and I put the Chaos Emerald that came with Knuckles there. I think this looks really nice, and this reminds me of the classic video game. And of course, Sonic still is able to spin on the playset like this. And it looks really cool. Sonic <laughs> looks like he's having a great time uh, spinning on this playset. And definitely has some really cool posability. Um, and I just think it looks fantastic. So if, hopefully you're able to pick up one of these playsets if you're a Sonic fan. Definitely recommend this. It was really fun to build this, and I'm actually not done with the Sonic collection. I can't wait to get more classic Sonic figures and see what else they have in store for us, like Amy or some other characters we'd love to see in action figure form. As always, guys, thank you for watching, for liking, for subscribing to my channel. I got great videos coming in 2021. You don't want to miss out. Hit that alert, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.